and you can see part of the hole right there and then you can see that part of the hole right there that's just that's unacceptable that's not going to work now we move on to more pressing matters and this right here is something that i have been needing to do for quite some time check it out voila this right here is a bow cleat and hopefully this one is not going to pop off of the h skip so we had this guy on one video just come completely off. It's gonna be a very hard install because I can't really reach my arms all the way up underneath the bow through the hatch that I have. It's like you have to be darn near a tiny person, a pygmy. Let's see how we're gonna be able to get this guy on. I'm hoping and praying that this is gonna be a somewhat simple install. All right, plenty of light. So that's what it looks like right there. Uh, fairly straightforward and simple process. I think it's the same exact cleat that we had before. First things first, let's clear out the bow hatch. All right, let's see. Is this clean? And... Yeah, it's too hard to see. All right, sorry about that, y'all. My gosh, I'm having to contort my body in just all kinds of crazy ways just to try to make that happen. Let's see what we can, what we can make happen. Oh my gosh. Ugh. I'm like getting a cramp. So let's see. I was going to try a 10 millimeter now because the 11 just didn't work. And there is like 5200 or some kind of crap all over this one. So the 10 is not working. Is that a 10? Yeah. Let's see. I think the 10 is too small. Yeah, if the 10 is too small, that's not going to work. Let's try the third or the 12. See if this 12 works. No. 12 is too big. I think it is the uh, the 11. Dang it. And I put the 11 away too. Oh my gosh. And that means I have to get out and get it. And we're back. Just had to get out and get that 11. No, that's not working as well. It's got to be a 10 millimeter then. And this is the 10. Yeah, this is the 10. There we go. That's it. It's the 10. It's all this 5200 that they use that's caking the darn thing down. Stuff is very tough to get off. Oh my god, they said it would be easy to do this, and yeah, it's anything but that. Bro, I'm gonna need a medal of honor after this. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna change lanes and i'm gonna go get a deep well uh what is this 10 millimeter so i'll be right back okay we're back yeah it's a lot easier now yeah. all right we got it i think we got this one off holy cow and there it is we got that guy off Holy moly, I'm going to just pause the camera and get the next one off without going through the physical strain and worrying about trying to get it on camera because that was tough, my god. Let's see, can we get in there? Oh, there is way too much 5200 all over that darn thing. 
Oh my god, my neck is killing me. I'm gonna probably get a kink in my damn neck. All right, we'll be right back. Talk about one tough job because of the tight space, but there we are. Now I gotta figure out how to remove all this 5200 because it's keeping the cleat stuck to it. And uh, I don't wanna rip up my fiberglass whenever I'm doing that. So I'm gonna go do some research on YouTube to see what's the best way to get this crap off. Okay, I finally got it done. And boy, did it take a lot of force. Check that out right there. Used the rope that I had tied to it because uh, I needed to still continue using the skiff. And uh, it took a lot of steady pressure. I was really scared to break the actual fiberglass, but I was able to rip it up and unseat the adhesive that was on it. So the good thing was that it wasn't actually on the metal right there. It was just essentially placed on the bottom of it to make it kind of watertight. So that's the good thing. Now, what we can do is place this one in. Uh, I'm hoping that it will be able to fit in there. We'll scrape out a little bit of that stuff to push it through. Um, let me get a screwdriver. All right, this one should work. Okay. Here we go. This stuff is really, really tough. Let's take these nuts off. I'm gonna put a lock washer on there as well to kind of keep it in place without having to worry about it falling free. This seems to be a better designed cleat as well. The way, in comparison to the way this one was designed, this is a piece of garbage. This one, I looked at the fastening hardware that keeps the cleat from completely popping out. Just seems like a much better design all the way around. The good thing is, I don't think I'm gonna have to drill any new holes right here to each side for these little bolts to go in. There we go, yeah. Pops right in. I don't know what's holding it from continuing to go in, but something is preventing it from sliding all the way down through. Man, this stuff is really, really tough to get off. Okay, hopefully that gets it done for us. I really don't wanna drill anymore on the skiff. Oh, wow. Look at that. That looks horrible. So, yeah, that's gonna be a big issue. Look, look at that right down there. That really, really sucks because this one is a lot wider right here. So you can't see that hole whenever this one is on. And this one is just way too narrow. And you can see part of the hole right there. And then you can see that part of the hole right there. That's just, that's unacceptable. That's not gonna work. And now what we gotta do is go underneath. I found two lock washers to help keep these nuts in place. And then we're gonna secure it by um, putting a flat washer first, then the lock washer, and then the nut, and that should hold the new cleat down nice and tight. Now the tough part is just getting under here and contorting my body. It is really tough. Hopefully I don't kill myself. Son, yeah. 
Can you film me like the way I'm having to contort my body just to get in here? Like get a good five seconds or so. Okay. Yeah, if I had some 5200, I could seal it, but there's no need in doing that because it's like the holes are about the same size. You got it? Yeah. Okay, let me see. All right, y'all. And there goes the promised land right there. I just smudged the lens. Oh my gosh, this is so tough to do. Flat washer, lock washer, and the nut. Like a champ. Okay, I don't want to like torque that down. So the first one is on. It's fairly easy to do. Let's get the second one on now. There we go. There we are. Ugh. And job complete. Holy moly, that has been by far the toughest gosh that has been the toughest fix for the skiff to date ah and we're done all right that should definitely hold us and prevent the cleat from being able to pop out right there Okay, um, that's going to conclude this video right here. These are just some of the things that we have to take care of. There's always something going on with our gear. We put a lot of strain on them, um, whether it's going to be the skiff, the kayak right there behind me, uh, just anything in general. There's always something to fix, something to modify, something to make better, and... Uh, yeah, that's what this channel is about. So hopefully y'all enjoyed this one and we will see y'all next time when we're off the water.